Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. We're looking at Christmas comedies this December Tuesday. That next brings us to a charmer titled Fitz Willie, produced by our good friend Walter Mirisch and released by United Artists in 1967. It's based on a novel by Points Tyler, a book called A Garden of Cucumbers. Not the most alluring title for a movie, certainly, which is why they decided to rename it Fitz Willie for the film version. Fitz Willie is the name of the main character. He's a butler in the household of a grand lady of a certain age, a great philanthropist who's given away gobs of her money and doesn't have a clue that her bank account is now close to zero. Nothing. So the butler goes to great lengths to help her keep up appearances and keep her in the dark about her financial situation. Playing the butler is Dick Van Dyke, who at that time had just finished his five-year run on his super successful TV series, The Dick Van Dyke Show. It was three years before making Fitzwillie that he'd had his big movie hit with Julie Andrews and Mary Poppins. Now, besides Dick Van Dyke, one of the other great joys of this film is the woman who plays his employer. She's Dame Edith Evans, great, great star of the British theater, known best here in America for movies such as The Whispers, Tom Jones, and The Chalk Garden, all of which brought her Academy Award nominations. And another treat of the movie, Barbara Feldon, popular TV star herself in the 60s, thanks to the series Get Smart, in which she played Don Adams' partner, Agent 99. And you'll also be seeing a young Sam Waterston in what was his first major film role. Behind the camera, things are also first rate. The director is Delbert Mann, the Oscar-winning director of Marty. The music is by the great John Williams, back when he was billed as Johnny Williams. So here from 1967, and with considerable Christmas spirit, Fitzwillie.